Welcome back! Look, here's the game we're making. It's a uh, memory. You reveal two tiles at a time, trying to find matching pairs. The twist is you don't want to reveal zombies or fog. And you've only got 30 seconds to find all five houses. In this episode, I want to get most of the UI rendering out of the way. Let's start by looking at the data. So there's five different pairs of houses. There's also fog. If you reveal those, the houses get harder to tell apart. Then there's three zombies. Reveal a pair and you'll lose time. Finally, there's the graveyard. It turns into a zombie if you mess up. We'll keep these 16 tiles in a list called the board. There's also the sand to keep track of the time. 30 seconds remaining. And the fog. Oh, um, the tiles can be revealed or matched. So they need to be maps, not just keywords. Okay, this looks good. Let's render it. I've prepared some HTML and CSS. Whoa, it's just like magic, dude. Here's the container for our game. And here's our blank canvas. So let's get to rendering. ClojureScript has quite a few React wrappers. My favorite is quiescent. It has a very sound approach to component local state in that it doesn't have any. All data is passed down from above. That I like. We also need to load the dependency into FigWheel. Quiescent's render function takes a component and a DOM element to populate. It can be called multiple times and only changes in the components are pushed out to the DOM. So our game consists of a board and that has four lines of four cells each. Hmm. Class name. I've got a cheat sheet for my styles here. Ah. Our board isn't 4 times 4 though, it's 16 cells in the list. So partition splits that up for us. Now, this looks fine to me, but unfortunately a quiescent component doesn't take a list of children. It takes var args of children. So we'll have to use apply. Same here. So there's a grid of lines and cells, and inside each cell there's a tile with a front and a back. Hmm. Oh, oh. Um, the fig wheel hot loading didn't work. I need to restart. It did say very experimental. I'll fast forward. Here's the grid. To show the face of a tile, it needs to be revealed, and uh, we have to add the face class name. Here they are, the houses, the fog, zombies, graveyard. Let's do foggy while we can see everything. It goes on the game div. There it is. Now, Tiles shouldn't always be revealed, of course. It'll have a revealed flag. It 
It can also be matched. Looks like this. You're done with those, so they're a little faded out. Let's add a timer. You don't have to create components for everything. Um, inlining it is fine for small things. Apply again. There's uh, 30 seconds remaining. And then they're gone. Nice. Uh, one more thing. Uh, there's three rounds. So, so you get a new board and another 30 seconds. Let's see what happens then. It goes off the screen. Uh, we want them stacked to the right. So uh, this time we'll partition on 30. Map index gives us, uh, well, the index, so we can construct the proper class name for each timer. This would pass in index and sand as two arguments. We can't do that though, because quiescent only takes the first argument into account when deciding if a component needs to re-render. We'll have to construct a map of index and sand. With this timer dash index class name, they should stack up nicely. Cool! Our UI rendering code is done.